Hey guys, I am Davey Wavy and I am here with Kate Maddox. This is part two. Last time we did how to please a bottom. Today it is how to please a top, you know, because I kind of know my way around a dick. I'm gonna take the lead with this video. So let's get it started. She knows her way around a dick. Hey, that's what we like. <laughs> okay, so the first one I have, this sounds really cheesy. It's doing what are essentially like butt kegels. Can you put your like finger like right, right up in my cooch, yeah. Can you feel, <laughs> so you can squeeze like just the sphincter, which I don't know if you can feel that, or you can kind of like actually squeeze like the muscles inside. Imagine sliding down in your dick and someone's just like pulsating on it. I mean, you can keep your finger there if you want, but that was the um, that's what's moving though. So to practice, you basically squeeze the muscles in the way, this sounds gross, but like in, in the way that you like squeeze off the poop, it will get stronger and stronger. And eventually you can actually milk someone's cock without even moving your butt. I've actually had guys do that before. That's a keeper. So speaking of poop, I know this is kind of gross. I don't, I don't poop. A way to really please your top is to make sure that you are prepared. And I'm sure that you're a really good top and you have a really big dick. So I'm sure there have been plenty of situations where the bottom gets uh, a little bit messy and I'm sure you're very gracious, but you have to take a, a beat, right? Like it's a little bit of like a yeah. reset. I do just think that uh, at the end of the day, it's a asshole. If it ever happens, which it does happen, and it ha happens quite often on set actually. Code brown. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> code brown. <laughs> and you're saying all the right things, yeah. but like, but I, it is very much appreciated to, yes. um, to that's a good way especially if you want me to eat it again uh, after and I do it happens, yeah, I you do. know like and I love fucking it and then pulling out and then eating and then you're a pig eating. I actually made an entire video about um, anal douching so it's like a YouTube tutorial it has like over a million views and I also made another video about shower enemas which is what I use if you want to be a real bottom pro all the bottoms I know have that hose that attaches to their shower it's right in that bathroom like smell your finger you just had your finger up my butt it smells nice I like that smell. Yeah. Nothing like sweaty booty smell. I don't even like sweaty booty. I could take it just after the gym. Oh! And it, guys, like, Oof. it smell like right after a gym. Maybe I would pick. <laughs> All right, the next tip for pleasing your top, I would say, is to not be a lazy bottom. And, and look, like, I get it. You've fucking douched, you shower enema, you've taken fiber, maybe you haven't eaten much that day, like you've done a lot of work and when you get into the bed, I cannot blame you for just wanting to lay there and be like, okay, now it's your turn to shine. <laughs> but I think if you're talking about pleasing your top, like is it fun to just fuck a dead fish? At least seem into it, you know? <laughs> At least put in like 20% of the work. Yeah. All right, so this is the same tip that I gave the tops. Use your hands as a bottom. Let's say that I'm right, so lay, lay down. Right, and so I'm like riding the dick. So here I am. That like, you've got two fucking hands. You've got little pleasure devices on the end of your arm. So if you're just going like this, like what a waste of an opportunity when you can be like playing with your nipples, tickling you, slapping you, praying your fucking rosary beads. I don't know, just like do, do something. Play with my balls. Play with your balls. Yeah. So the next tip is to, to make noise as a bottom. You like it when the bottom is experiencing pleasure and like, that gives you more pleasure, yeah. knowing that you're giving pleasure. It's a whole circle of fucking pleasure. The moans. Ooh, uh, uh, yeah. oh, 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 yeah, daddy. I'm learning to become more verbal mm -hmm. because that, I think that was my biggest issue, especially in my industry. You know, that's like 50% of it. I always say, oh, it's so tight if I'm like fucking a bottom. Oh yeah, I'll use that one. Yeah, or, even if it's not. You like this dick? Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like um, this dick. So I would say the other thing is like, if you're a bottom, and you're gonna have sex to not go in with an expectation of like an outcome. When you get in your car, you have a destination in mind, but riding your dick is not like driving a car. I'm topping and the bottom starts to really focus on like, are you gonna come? Did you come yet? Did you come? Like really focuses on me getting off. It takes me out of it. Like if you want me to not come, then like ask me when I'm gonna come. Do you know what I mean? Like it suddenly puts a lot of pressure on you. Yeah. And actually this happened the other day. I was filming OnlyFans mm -hmm. and we have literally been fucking only like less than 10 minutes. And he was like, oh, I'm about to come. I'm like, fucking come. I mean, I wasn't mad at all. I was actually very pleased that um, I fucked the comment out of him so early. And the flip side of that is I think a lot of bottoms measure it their val like they get validation out of making the top comp, but I think like if it happens, it happens awesome, but don't have that like end goal in, in mind. 
So this is, this is a personal tip. I know this isn't gonna be for everyone, but if I'm bottoming and I wanna please my top, for me, being sober is like a, a big part of that. Like, I don't drink at all, but I, there's just nothing to me that's sexy about like being like a messy drunk and not focused, not present. Also, consent becomes an issue if there's substances involved. Consent turns me on. <gasps> I just love consent. When I'm topping, my sexy way of getting consent is I will lean forward and I'll say, do you want my dick or do you want to get fucked? And, and if they say, yeah, I want your dick, then I'll, then I'll go on. Pro tip, I actually have this quote from, there's this book called Urban Tantra. This was like her, be, her advice for achieving sexual ecstasy. Okay. Stay in the present moment, don't try so hard. Stay in the present moment, drop your expectations and your judgments. Stay in the present moment, surrender. Stay in the present moment, be more conscious. Stay in the present moment, learn how to do all of this in sex in the present moment. Anyway, those are our tips for pleasing a top. That was a tongue twister by the seashore. So if you guys have any tips, please share them in the comments down below. We will check them out. Cade, where can people get more of you? Um, Onlyfans.com slash Cade Maddox. Himeros. The bitch is everywhere. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching, and as always, more to come.